Hey, how's it going? All right, well, this is kind of political, but it's not making me miserable. But it's uh, definitely been on my mind. Russell Brand could very well be guilty of some of the things he's been accused of. He has admitted to previously being a sex addict, as well as a number of other things. So some of these stories that I'm hearing, that I've been reading about, don't really seem that out of the question. I'm not going to say he's guilty, though. We should wait for the legal system to decide. Having said that, though, I think there is a concerted effort to deplatform him for saying things that go against the grain. The letters from the UK government to social media and video sharing platforms calling to demonetize or deplatform him entirely is just a part of that effort. That's certainly authoritarian, wouldn't you say? Yeah, yeah, apparently in the UK if someone is accused of committing a crime, apparently the government should be able to step in to try to stop someone from making money. That sure doesn't sound right, does it? And I continually notice people saying that they think Russell has moved to the right, even to the far right. And they base it on the notion that he gets so much support from people on the right. I was discussing this in the comments on a video related to some of this, and I got told that whatever demographic gravitates to your message the most says more about your beliefs than the things that you say you believe. Now, I think that's mostly garbage, but I've seen that kind of argument said many times. I say mostly garbage because there are some people who just don't really tell the truth about what their beliefs are, so... But this also blatantly shows the problem with the whole left-right paradigm. As people have said in the comment sections of my videos many times, the left-right paradigm is outdated and no longer accurately describes the political landscape. If someone who would normally be considered on the left or even the far left gets accused of being on the right or the far right because they disagree on one issue, yeah, we have a problem. And that appears to be where we're at now. I mean, this has been a problem for a while, but it's gotten a lot worse. I normally would have considered myself an independent leftist, but since I'm a class reductionist and disagree with many of the methods being used and touted by people on the left and uh, Democrats, some people consider me on the right. I mean, at this juncture, I just call myself an independent or a class reductionist. Yeah, yeah, I know. Apparently class reductionism is a myth used to squash debate, which I find the accusation quite amusing. Have a joy, joy day!